The schools here have been closed for two days in honour of Harry and Meghan's visit, and wherever they and we go, the streets are lined with children waving the national red and white flag. So we've come to the forest now, and we're on our way to an event which means a lot to Harry's grandmother, the Queen. <laughs> But first things first, Harry and Meghan are about to find out just how the Tongans like to party. You know this, it really gives you goosebumps. It's amazing. Harry's here to dedicate a forest reserve to the Queen's Canopy, a network of forests across the Commonwealth protected in his grandmother's name. I was shown around the Taloa Reserve by Tavita, who worked in the Tongan forest for over 30 years and saw them decimated by deforestation. I think that's an excellent uh, initiative, uh, yeah. especially for uh, small island countries. Eh? Some of these small countries that we don't have uh, enough forest. And it's important to protect and conserve this forest. The forest Harry dedicated to the Queen's Canopy project is the kind of lowland rainforest that once predominated, but now covers just 3% of the island. And the job of the rangers here is to keep the invasive plants at bay so the native ones can once again thrive. Yes. So what is it? It was brought here for timber? Yes, uh, I think it was introduced uh, for timber production. But the problem here, because some of the uh, indigenous species are slow growing, this one here is fast growing. Now we found it is uh, spread widely and... Uh, it's everywhere. everywhere. So this, should, this shouldn't be in Tonga. Concern over such man-made environmental change has been passed down to Harry by his father, and it's part of what drives the Queen's Canopy project. There are now 42 countries out of the 53 Commonwealth countries signed up to the QCC, and we hope that the other countries will join in as soon as possible. Tonga is leading by example and understands deeply the impact of environmental changes because they directly affect these islands. The Duchess has come here despite a risk of the Zika virus to pregnant women in some of these Pacific nations. The local choir have a song, though, to keep the biters at bay, much to the royal couple's amusement. The schoolboys also sing an English anthem, a gesture from one rugby-loving nation to another, which Harry appears to appreciate. Were you here to see Harry and Meghan, or were you here to listen to your children sing? <laughs> Sadly, after less than 24 hours in Tonga, the Duke and Duchess are moving on. But that's no reason for the locals to call time on their celebrations. This place is amazing. I've never been anywhere like this. 